Hello everyone, welcome to another fly tying video. So, obviously lately I've been tying a good few mullet flies because that's what um, I'm doing a lot of fishing for. But um, today I'm going to do something different. Uh, I'm going to do a salmon fly. I was asked by a friend to tie him up a dozen or more, depending on the time I had, uh, sunray shadows. Um, so I said, look, I'm going to tie that many, may as well do a video on one. So I've done most of the silver and pearl ones. Um, just grab the, the card here, if you can find it. Uh, so you'll see lots of silver and, and pearl ones. Probably down to about a size 14 up to more than <clears throat> maybe 12 or a 10 double. So um, I didn't do any on tubes. So this is the parallel one uh, with a tease of eyes. So that's the one I'm going to, to show you. And I think at this stage, uh, everybody knows about the sun ray shadow if they're into, into salmon fishing. And it's also a great fly for sea trout. And it's a it's a good fly for brown trout. So I'm going to do the last one of these for him, and then um, in my next fly tying session, I'm actually going to be tying gold bodied um, ones with yellow and orange. I think some people call them Willy Gun Sun Rays. It could be called Cascade Sun Rays, and uh, the gold bodied ones with the yellow and orange. Obviously, if you've a slight peat stain in the water. They can be particularly effective. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Thank you.